everyone. My name is Damon Caskey, and I welcome you to the first edition of DC's Let's Fix It, a video series where I attempt to locate succinct solutions to common conundrums. Today, we're going to tackle one that Avalanche owners face far too often, and that is dealing with a jammed tailgate latch. The cause of this is fairly straightforward. The mechanism is exposed to the elements, and over time it begins to corrode. Use of the lock becomes more and more difficult until eventually it's rendered inoperable and you can no longer access the bed of the truck through the tailgate. Now, I have seen solutions posted that involve forcing the lock open by using some type of jam or dowel, but I don't recommend this because even if it does work, you can damage the lock mechanism. Instead, we're going to tackle this with a more permanent solution. To do so, all we need are the following tools. Lantern, metal cleaning brush, star drive screwdriver, some white lithium grease, and of course, a bit of WD-40. Now, to get to the lock mechanism, we're going to have to access it to the inside of the truck, and that's where the star drive comes in. Follow me, and we'll get started. Once inside the truck, you're going to be faced with an array of star screws. Now, our goal here is to access the locking mechanism, not to dislodge it. So do not remove any of these three screws. Instead, you'll want to take each of the peripheries out. They are what hold the outer casing in place. So, we'll get started removing them. And now we'll head back outside. Back outside of the truck, you'll find that removal of the periphery screws has left the casing very loose. However, it is still held by two plastic dowels along the bottom. So to remove it, you'll need to grasp and pull directly out away from the truck. Our task now is to unjam the latch. Now, as you can see, lifting the latch handle should manipulate a rocker arm, which in turn activates these connector rods, releasing the latches on each side. Locking the gate lifts a lever arm, moving this rocker pin out of the way so the handle motion is no longer transmitted to the latch connector rods. Unfortunately, due to previously mentioned corrosion, the rocker pin is prone to lodging in its locked position, ultimately jamming the entire system. To fix it, Carefully lift the passenger side of the rocker arm by hand, and then press the locking arm down. This unlocks the latch and should allow you to open the tailgate normally. We're almost finished, but as you might have guessed, if its parts are still degraded, the gate will jam again the very next time it's locked. This is where WD-40 and our metal brush come into play. Spray the entire system with WD-40 and carefully brush away the corrosion. Finally, liberally apply a coating of white lithium grease to provide a long-term seal and lubricant. And make sure you don't forget about the lock cylinder still attached to the outer casing. The latching mechanism has now been realigned, cleaned, and lubricated. We're ready for final assembly. Make sure that the lock carrier is fully depressed. This keeps it in the unlocked position. Do the same thing with the lock cylinder by ensuring it is turned fully counterclockwise. Now, reinstall the outer casing. Remember, the outer casing is held in place at the bottom by two plastic retainer clips. To avoid any breakage, press straight forward as you reinsert. Now, open the tailgate and replace the periphery screws. Get them nice and snug, but not too tight. Remember, this is plastic. At this point, all that's left, wipe away a bit of the oil, less, oil mess, and our tailgate is ready to use. 
I hope you've enjoyed, or at the very least found this a bit useful. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.